Jesus is Lord. If he's Lord over all, it means Jesus is my Lord. That's what you're saying. Jesus can call the shots for my life. Jesus can tell me how I should think about myself and about marriage and about the world. Jesus is the one who has all authority in heaven and on earth, not me. I'm not an autonomous creature. I live to serve this master. That's what you're saying. And you're not just saying, well, sure, resurrection, and eh, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, the dead person wants to come back to life, okay. I mean, I've seen aliens and Martians and stuff before, whatever. To believe in the resurrection is to believe it with boldness. You're saying, he lives, and I'll live. If he's raised, then I can trust my whole life to him. If he really is the only person in the history of the world who died, did not stay dead, never died again, rose to heaven, if that's the only man, then this is the man I ought to spend my whole life following and give my whole life to worship. That's what you're saying. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is Christ and Lord whether any of us think He is or not. He's not asking for your vote. He's not standing there hat in hand and just saying, would somebody down there please sing a song to me? So lonely. He does not depend upon me or my affirmation of Him. He is in heaven. He is at God's right hand. He governs the church by His Word and Spirit, and no matter what any of us think or believe or decide, Jesus is now and forever will be Lord and Christ. So He is not begging that you would be His Facebook friend and He would have a few more followers. But He does issue a gracious invitation because He needs, because He loves. 